Live and direct. Right, right, right. It's Sway in the morning. Right here on Shade 45. <laughs> you know, one thing I remember about this man is, you know, when you look at him, if, you know, ladies was going crazy for, you know, I didn't get, I thought it was looking at me, but it turned they out they were looking at De Niro. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Damn, Sway. I thought it was me. I didn't know, man. I was like, yo, thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies. Um, and but don't let that <laughs> don't let that confuse you, man. There's a couple of things I noticed about him in that short period of time. Number one, the boy is hungry, ever be. Mm-hmm. He got the ambition of a hyena. Only <laughs> like hyenas, the ones that chump down not just the flesh, but they chump down the bone marrow too, mm-hmm. all the way to the grit. I saw that in him as an MC. He didn't care who was in the room. The spotlight was his. That's right. Not only that, he had great energy about him. And I like that. That's the first thing I notice about an artist is your energy. I don't care how skilled you are, whatever the case may be. If your energy ain't right, the skills ain't going to last. And then thirdly, his resilience. When you learn about his story, how far he came, the adversity he's faced, his family's faced, his mother has faced, his uncle has faced, um, then it makes you appreciate the music that he's putting out now. It's a connection to the person in the story, in the lyrics, uh, which means it's authentic. De Niro Ferrara is here, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show, brother. Welcome Woo! to the show. Thanks for having me, man. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> hey, look, I got a cold and shit. It ain't really a cold, but I was sleeping with the window open with no shirt on, so. The scene, that's that's kind of like congested. So yeah. you just, that's just your normal way that's of being. That's what I do, man. I yeah. sleep sexy, you know. Yeah, <laughs> Get Al Green on. I Sleeping like Al Green. Just in case. You never, you never know who looking, huh? Man, you never know, bro. Yeah, you remember <laughs> South by Southwest, though? I was just, I thought, I was like, man, there's a lot of abundance of you know, girls looking at me right now. And yeah. You, but you, De Niro was sitting right next to me, and I was like, yo, you noticed that? You know. <laughs> Man, that was you, bro. That was me? Yeah, that was you. Thank you, homie. A Give few of them were cross at it, so yeah, it looked yeah. like they was looking yeah. at me. One, but, and nah, then, and you, looked at me. Yeah, okay, okay, you, great, man. Yeah. Thanks for throwing OG a bone. I appreciate nah, man, that, man. Bro. Um, you got a really interesting story. You're from North Carolina, right? Charlotte, man. 704, the area code. We here. 704, man. I got a chance to watch the uh, four-piece um, episode that you guys did on, on you and your life and coat rap. What yeah. is coat rap like in more detail? I mean, cult rap is just another genre of rap, uh, you know, to be um, completely honest. You know, you got, like, hip-hop, you got, like, trap rap, mm-hmm. cloud rap, swag rap. Cult rap is its own genre, you know. Um, but it's just uh, music based off of substance, you know, solely substance. It ain't no beat. That's why when I rapped in uh, Austin, Texas, I was like, bro, I don't need the beat. Mm-hmm. I never need the beat. It's a message in the music, you know. And, mm-hmm. and really the beat is just to support that. But most of these rappers... Their lyrics don't even support the beat. The beat to support the lyrics, you know? Yeah. Like, and uh, that's just what it is. So that's what cult rap is. Oh, uh. Real right there. What do you think about that, HB? I was wondering if that was cult hair. It is, man. <laughs> I did this myself, to be right. completely honest. You know, um, uh, I don't be letting people put their hands in my hair. I don't man. blame she you. Said that's my your hair strength. Grew. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't want them different energies in my hair. You right. Know? And, uh, what you are we talking about? Yeah, that? yeah. yeah she asked me. She, How she, long did uh, it take to grow it out to that length? I, don't, I mean, it was growing for a while. It was just a nappy afro, and then I put rubber bands on it to really like tame it and give it some type of discipline and direction. You know. You see, you see what's going on here, man. I'm asking you about your rap, and they asking you about I your. Mean, hair. I asked him about, about no. I asked him about the cult. I wanted okay. to fully embrace, you know, the lifestyle. Oh no, nah, it is the lifestyle. You know, it's a uh, hair, mind, and body. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, everything gonna grow at the same time. Mm-hmm. So that you know, that's what the hair is all about. I never had dreadlocks. I had them one time, but it was just a fashion statement. So you know, yeah. I went to a lady, let her twist them down and braid them up, and you know, just it was a fashion statement. But now it's more so a, a signification of growth, and mm-hmm. it's you know, my mind, body, and uh, you know, my hair at the same time. So I can relate to that. You don't yeah. let anybody put their energy in your hair. That's nah, right. Man. People don't understand that. Um, you faced a lot. I mean, we, we all know your story. You, you know, you talk about on this video your mom being um, addicted, having substance, addicted to substance, right? Right, right. Um, well, she was, she was. She she's clean now? now? Yeah, That's all I was going to ask you. Clean. She got a whole, good, good. Yeah, yeah, now she got a whole 20 years, man. You know, she have a anniversary every year. This year I, I made it, but it was over when I came. I had both of my sons, man, yeah. with me. And uh, my little brother took uh, my car to work. And only had one car seat, so I had to wait on him to get out of work. And by the time he got out of work, I got the car seat. It was damn near over. So I still went, though. You still I made, made it, it right? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. said something about, you know, people always wait till they're financially capable of taking care of kids, but yeah. that, that wasn't what you did. Uh, no, I still ain't got shit. 
Yeah. Can uh, I say that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. If you okay, couldn't, yeah. it would have been over now. Right? But <laughs> yeah, not. You say that. Yeah. <laughs> nah, man. You know, I mean, it's time more than anything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I was telling um a friend of mine last night, I was like, a lot of niggas, I know they buy their kids. You know, mm-hmm. they buy them this, they buy them that. But, you know, time. You still don't take care of your kids. A lot of niggas like, but my son don't want for nothing. Nigga, he want for you. You know, you don't take mm-hmm. care of your kids. If mm-hmm. you're just buying them, mm-hmm. you know, it's all about time. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, uh. You know, that's what I pump into my children is mm-hmm. time. You know, I read to them every day when I got them, you know, I take them to the park walking. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So. De- De Niro Farrar. Man, what does this name mean? Is your real name De Niro? No, no my Dante. real name Dante. Okay. Yeah. Farrar, what Farrar is Farrar is my real last name, though. Okay. Yeah, I'm a Greek god, man. That's what it means. I don't know. But okay. it sounds like it. It sounds like it, right? <laughs> All right, look. Sway in the morning. Shade 4 5. That's from Rebirth. De Niro Ferrar is here. Man, go online and pick that up, Heather B. Yep. You know. Uh, it's only $5. There it is, I right? Just, you know what I'm saying? We, we got Wu on the line from Arkansas. Good morning, Wu. Hey, good morning, Sway. Heather B. Tracy. How y'all know? What up, Wu? Not much. Hey, De Niro, man. Hey, man. I was just want to holler at you, man. I'm from Columbia, South Carolina. Born and raised, man. 803. Uh-oh, what's going on with it? What's good, bro? I just wanted to say, man, you know what I'm saying? Keep doing what you're doing, man. You hot, man. Don't go commercial, man. Stay real and do what you do, bro. Man, commercials for TV, bro. It ain't for rap. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. All right. You know and, and give it up for Sway, man. Sway, man, you the GOAT, man. You the greatest of all time with what you do, bro. Wow, man. Just caught a chill off of that, man. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> hey, thank you, man. Hey, you a citizen, man. A Sway in the That's morning. That's the least I can do for that. Go now, ahead, Tracy. Now, I'm wondering, before um you name this movement Cult Rap, was there a time where you were not rhyming like this? Like, did you have an epiphany where you realized <laughs> the power behind your words and be responsible with that? Man, no, my first, I came out the gate like that. Oh, my wow. first project, they flew me up to Warner Brothers. I was like, why am I even here? You know, in my mind, I'm like, if y'all got me here already, you know, I'll be back. You know what I'm saying? They just wanted to let me know they see me. I dropped my first project. It was 31 tracks. It was called Feel This. And I still got some of the hardest music on there still to this day I wrote. I came out the gate like that. Mm. I didn't just, it was like a swag rap. And I was like, you know what? Nah, because I'm a firm believer of, uh you know, how they find you is how, you know, people going to accept you, you know. So if they find me off a radio hit, they're going to expect me to continue to produce those records, you know. So, I mean, I'm making the music that's true to me. And I started out making it, and I'm going to leave making it. So, Word yeah. up. Yeah. Hey, hey, man, I didn't know it was, you know, I, I'm the, what did I go to? Fayetteville's uh, one place I Uh-oh. went to. Um, but I went to the college campus, so right. I didn't get the chance to see the environment, but it, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. y'all face a lot of challenges out there in Charlotte, huh? Yeah, man, Charlotte the biggest city in North Carolina, man. Shout out to Charlotte again, man. Shout out to all my people down there, man, because they hit me right now and telling me they listening. So, you, you, know. you, you said that, you know, people, because of all the bad you did when you were younger, people didn't expect you to flip it into something positive. What kind of bad were you in? I, was, I mean, I was just like anybody else, you know, that come from uh, – a situation like I came from a poverty stricken, you know, area. You I feel like most hood people have the hood mentality. Yeah. Meaning that they overcome by that situation. They don't feel like they can rise above it. So they become it. And I became it because mm-hmm. I felt like, you know, that's what I was. You know, I felt ignorant. I didn't know nothing. Mm-hmm. All I knew was ignorance. So that's all I displayed, you know, I had my pants off my ass, you know. Mm-hmm. All of that. You know what I'm saying? So every time I do a push up, it reminds me to pull my pants up and mm-hmm. I, I keep them up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, I'm an anti pants off your ass dude too. Yeah, man. man. That's like a big marquee. Like, look at my asshole. Man. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm a thick nigga on some ho shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, look at my the, the underwear I'm wearing. Man, pull your motherfucking pants yeah. up. Yeah, sweat. Stop, stop <laughs> doing that dumb shit. Y'all look crazy. Stupid. <laughs> Show that man, I've just seen dudes walk around with their pants right above their knees. I took a picture of this nigga in front of me when I was uh, washing clothes with my son, man. He had on, I was like, I didn't even know they made shit that big still. Like, he had on like a 44, but the nigga was like a 28. I'm like, cool, man. Come on, man. Man. And I think they was Coogee. I'm like, man. Oh, man. <laughs> waste, waste of jeans there. Uh, yeah. De Niro <laughs> Ferrar is um, hanging out with us. Uh, man, you, you sound well read, man. But if you don't mind sharing us, what's the latest book you read? The Alchemist, man. The Alchemist. Yeah, yeah. How did me. you find The Alchemist? That's a great book. I've read that. I twice. got it from uh, my friend girl, uh, Francesca. Mm-hmm. She gave it to me. She a real intelligent woman. She gave me the book and um, told me that, you know, she knew the type of person I was. It would inspire, 
you know, something in me. And then when I read it, it really did, though. You know, it changed me. And I'm just not reading the book. Like, I just got done with it the other day. Mm-hmm. And, uh, nah, it definitely opened my mind up to some new stuff, you know. I didn't really know nothing about personal legend until I read the book. So, mm. you know, but all in, uh, I mean, this whole time I've been pursuit in pursuit of my whole, um, you know, my own personal legend. Mm-hmm. But now I just, it's more clear, you know. You How often do you read? Uh, now I'm trying to do like a book a week. Book a week, nice. man. Yeah, Damn, how, what last time we heard that? Had a big, you heard know, my uh, old uh, <laughs> twin is on the line from New Orleans. Good morning, twin. Uh-oh. What's up, sweet? What up, family? How you doing? I'm good, man. Hey, De Niro, man, dog. That good. last song that they just played, my yeah, man, dog, that. like. Dog, hard. You hard. called in so aggressive. I thought you was finna just go crazy on me. Like, oh, nigga, fuck you. Oh, fuck <laughs> you. No, 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 no. See, I'm not even, I'm not, I, it's not, I'm a, I'm a fan of music. I'm Already. a fan of good music. You know Already. what I'm saying? Already. And then on top of that, you sound like you got a head on your shoulders at the same time. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's just not, just, it's just not that facade that's on the record. It's like, dude, you a well, well spoken person. You know what I'm saying? And then when you was talking about stuff with spending time with your children, Dude, you got mad respect for me. You know what I'm saying? Already. You got mad respect for me. On the music side and on the personal side, though, you got mad respect for me. Oh, oh that's what's up, man. Hey, man, pick up that project, too, Twin. It's called Rebirth. I'm going to play this song called Notice off the project. What is Notice Uh-oh. about? Notice is just to uh, uplift women. You know, I feel like we haven't heard any uplifting music. Everything is to degrade women, I feel like, now. Oh, bitch this, bitch that. You ain't shit, but a fuck. It ain't nothing to cut you off, you know all that shit but I don't really hear any uplifting <laughs> records like you're a queen you know I notice your struggle and you work hard you work every day and you take care of your children your baby daddy ain't around but you still make do this is the song about you know notice so, man he about to get a million downloads De Niro Farrar let's play that man let's go Uh-oh. like that yeah we got yeah. is it Hosa Hosa from Alabama good morning <laughs> Good morning. Thanks for calling me from Alabama. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, and it's awesome talking to you guys. Yo, so- I feel connected to the big city now. <laughs> ah, say what up to Danero Farrar. What you want to say? Good morning, Danero. Baby, you got to stay. Teach the young. Teach the youth. Yes, you ma'am. have to it. use it, baby, because that's a beautiful platform. I told the young lady that I never heard another young black man tell a young black man to pull his damn pants up. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, oh, man, that's true, right? That's true. Yeah, it's scared to say. I say it. Every, yeah, every, yeah. Every, um, thank you for your call, man. This is what I want to do. Um, before you leave, man, I just want to expose the world to who you are in a bigger way than South by Southwest. Uh-oh. And, um, you know, and we, I think we've done that. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I just you know, and I hope that um, other platforms, um, DJs, personalities, writers, journalists, whoever, uh, open their minds to your music and your message. Uh, De Niro, Farrar, um, and even if they don't, more importantly, I hope that the people do. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. And so I was hoping, man, without a beat, <laughs> you could leave us with something. Just drop a gem, just you a verse. <laughs> you know, you know what? I wasn't gonna leave without that, but. I wasn't going to leave without not rapping on the beat, though. I, I didn't want the beat. I was going to tell you that anyway. I didn't okay. know how to put it. I was thinking about it all morning. Like, <laughs> how do I tell them? Because it was such a shock when I did that South by Southwest. Yeah, the yeah. other rappers was like, oh, shit, you could do that. Yeah, right? yeah. And I didn't even know. You know, this yeah. is my first time on the show. But um, Well, let, let me say this for the rest. Normally, you can't do that. Oh, no, shit. Yeah, but uh, for you. Oh, man. You let that rock. I let that rock. Oh, yeah. Right. So I got to give you something like. Come with it. From that spirit. Okay, uh, they say you stand for nothing, you will fall for anything. That's why they suicidal sway, Kurt Cobain. I'm demonstrating how if you become complacent instead of being ambitious, you will never fucking make it, face it. My motivation is defeating all the odds. Move my mama out the hood and tell her she can quit her job. Take my partner off the block and he'll no longer have to rob. Started my own fucking movement, organized it like the mob. Giving back to my community. Teach my brothers unity. Ain't no fucking 19, because all we got is you and me. Rehabilitate the fiends. Give them all a second chance. Because you ain't know that man heart, and you ain't know her circumstance. You fail to plan, you plan to fail. Bitch, I hope you got a plan. Living on ball time, I watch ain't got no second hand. I don't go to church sway, because I ain't a fan. Gave my money to a preacher who, like us, a sinning man. It was for his building fund, but I don't see no fucking fan. 
or a damn dough knob, but his wife just got a boob job and a new sob. I'm done with this. I don't give a fuck who they run and get. I don't give a fuck who they run and tell. They can suck my dick while they burn in hell. Hmm. But I'm a fool with this. Lyrical shit I spit. I'm bipolar, therefore they don't want to see me click. Far from being violent, but I'm close to being a killer over this bitch I used to fuck because I ain't know she had a nigga. I ain't fighting over that bitch. You can have a nigga. I ain't trying to be gangster pulling my pistol to make my status bigger. I'm just me, the Nero Farrar. Mr. Quick to pull your bitch and I ain't do it with no car. Came and scooped in that old Nissan. That was a great investment. Now that same bitch that was talking shit was the same bitch that necked me. <laughs> no father figure, so I got addicted to these streets. Haunted by a vicious past and memories that won't leave. Like my little brother daddy beating on my fucking mama. That's why my mind fucked up now and ready for that drama. Train assassin if I'm busting at my enemy. Got corrupted now, I'm conducting with evil tendency. I hope I'm living wrong shit, I'm trying to make it right. Hoping that my mama don't relapse and go back to that white. She a diabetic, a lot of times she don't be eating right. Prick her finger just to drop blood on that fucking line. My little brother locked up and I'm worried about him half the time. That shit be fucking with me, you can hear it in my rhymes. Popping out of all to breathe some life into my mind. I'm so fucking heartless, I'm numb to the pain half the time. I'm a mastermind, sway these niggas ain't got half my grind. Fuck some shine, I take my time when I quote these rhymes. These words define a hell hole from where I had to climb. Quoting satanic ritual was a devil state of mind. Hmm. Let's get the it. Nero Farrar, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> You, you, you ain't really quoting satanic rituals, though, right? Nah, man. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. Oh, okay. I right, mean, so that's just... what they say rap is. You know, people say rap the devil. You know what I'm saying? Ah, so, uh, I see what you mean. You know, so yeah, that's yeah, a symbol. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Yeah, man. I just want you to explain that. No, yeah, 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 nah, man. Nervous over there. yeah, that's why I ain't clap. <laughs> <laughs> now that you understand what he meant. All right. Oh, there you go. All right. <laughs> Give a nigga a clap. <laughs> Gennaro Farrar. Yeah, hey, yeah. man, that truth. Keep putting it out there, yeah. man. Uh, I can't stop, bro. I'm All the right. truth. Yeah. You're listening to Sway in the morning on Shea 45.